I'm going to start modeling my rocket. I'm going to be using millimeters as the unit of measurement. You can also use inches. To select inches, go to the drop down list and select IN. I'm going to start with a sketch polyline. Go to the top view, select that plane and then the first point. I know that's going to be 300 millimeter or approximately 12 inches in length. Press enter for that and escape to get out of the command. I'm pressing the function 6 key, that zooms out and shows me that whole line. I'm going to draw two more lines. So again I went to polyline and this time my line is going to be 15 millimeters. Back to sketch polyline and I want to count 50 millimeters from the right hand side, so I need to zoom in a little bit so I can see that grid. Each of those little squares is 5 millimeters. That's 25 and then 50. So that's the start point, and this line's going to be 30 millimeters long. I'll complete placing that line. And again, the F6 or the function 6 key to see the whole sketch. I now want to create the spline that gives me the curve of the rocket. So I'm going to go to Sketch, select Spline, and the spline allows me to create a curved line. There's the first point, and I'm going to place about six or seven points. Place more points than fewer, it's easier to adjust the spline later. Make sure it goes through that point. And you want the end, the right hand end, to be not a point, but kind of smooth going into the end. So take it pretty close to that line and then drop that down. When you place the last point in the spline, you see you get a closed profile. That different color shows you that. There's actually two profiles, and in the next video I'll be revolving each of them to create the body of the rocket.